Good morning to all traders and welcome to this Monday's Market Insights video uh, on FX majors today. Well, we saw yesterday, Sunday, the cases in the US uh, topping, what I was, 62,000 cases. Now, at the same time, we do know that economic data in the US is deteriorating. The situation is not getting better. Tensions between US and China keep increasing, while on the other side, over in Europe, we recently had this fiscal package being agreed uh, and now we seem to have some shift in the dynamics of the markets with the euro taking a safe haven uh, status over the past few days we saw today the 117 being broken um, pound is also rising of course following a weaker dollar as well gold is rising everything is going up against the dollar so starting with the euro dollar so I still see this as a triple zigzag right i was looking at these as w x and y uh, so that would be the w x and y down here right uh, but since we broke the previous wave at b over here 114.86 and we remained above 114.73 uh, if i'm not mistaken was the level i was looking at then obviously oh well i'm thinking that wave x it might be way further up i do see prices actually rising above the 120 mark right and this is what it is very important because we are still low compared to the expectation we are still around 117 and around that price i'm thinking that this might be uh, a good level for wave a to end okay so we should be expecting wave b around the 50 or even 38.2 fibonacci and then all the way up for wave c with the break of 118.25 which is the uh, 61.8 fibonacci retracement of wave w uh, playing an important role in the medium and also longer term uh, performance of the pair. Now, since we've um, reached the 161.8 Fibonacci extension at 117 of waves uh, 1 and 2, I think that we are going to see a short pullback, okay? Short term pullback. Now, what we need to pay attention to is that we don't have really any signals on the RSI nor on the MACD to support a decline okay the, the rsi shows something but i'll be honest i'm not really sure i'm not convinced with this signal okay because also on the four hour chart so we might see more upside the other scenario is that this is one two we we'll have a multi-structure degree uh upside over here one two three four and five that's going to be way way higher okay and then we're going to see b and c well yes these are the two scenarios i'm looking at the thing is that uh well we know that wave one and wave three are pretty much a duplication over here okay with wave five being extended 61.8 of one and two uh that is why that makes me think that we might start seeing a pullback and this would be registered as wave a if that's not the case then look for higher uh, prices uh, an end of wave a around 118.25 and then declines to wave b well with pound I look at this as a leading triangle, leading diagonal with wave one, two, three, four, and five expected to, uh, well, in the medium term to at least move prices higher. Now, if we go down on the one hour chart, we are going to see that prices moved exactly as we expected compared to last week, right? Because we were looking at, um, hold on one second we were down here if i'm not mistaken or even maybe up here yeah we were waiting for a correction then we've got abc for w and then yeah and then we're gonna see another abc for uh wave y which is going to be the first wave uh well i would it's it's part of an impulse uh structure but it's corrective because it's a little diagonal right the corrective type of the line. so I wanna, i'm not gonna say the impulsive move I'm just going to say that uh, it's a move that is uh, taking us further higher up. I'm expecting around, uh, well, maybe we'll miss the 130 in the first, um, as a first attempt, and then we will go down for wave two. Or we could actually have a uh, throwover event over here with 130 being taken over, and that would likely suggest a better sharp, sharp move to the downside as well and uh, which would mean wave two might be sharp and then wave four might go into sideways move but well that went four was still far away because we're looking about a five wave uh, move to the upside rather than a three so until we get two uh, and until we get then a fresh high above the 130 we still are far from really um 
uh, forecasting whether this is going to be a five wave or a three wave move to the upside. Now, um, again, the signals here on the RSI and the MACD, uh, they're not really convincing. So we might see A uh, ending around the 128.50 or so, then a wave B is expected, and then another five wave impulse to the upside for wave Y to take out intermediate wave one. And last, dollar yen uh, is moving exactly as we were expecting as well. Uh, now, on here, however, I'm looking at this uh, still as a uh, five wave move to the downside, right? And it's going to be part C of X. So, um, we haven't seen wave three being taken out yet, okay? We were expecting before the 105167 to be wave X. It still could be the case, but this wave 3 is very sharp, it's very impulsive, which is just a multi-structure move to the downside. So I'm expecting at least the 105 to be where wave 3 ends. So we're going to get four sharp move, right? Uh, or either shorter than this or more extended, and then another wave 5 uh, to take out the 104 or so. That is going to be also in the uh, medium term, the bottom channel of this uh, move to the downside that I still see as a W X Y X what is a Z and which is a triple zigzag I'm expecting this uh, rejection down at around 103 to cause a very big impulse to the upside to around 111 okay but we're still far from that uh, I see uh, as we currently are uh, in the midst of wave 3 I see the 105 167 being taken out uh, after the first attempt, of course, and then uh, have a wave five uh, in confluence, of course, uh, with perhaps the two six eight might be yes, the good uh, a good level around one oh three five or so. Since we don't see any signals on the MACD as well, okay, we are really moving lower on the on the RSI as well. No signals to support even. Um, a pullback at the moment once we start getting those signs over the RSI and the MACD perhaps even momentum on the MACD then uh, a pullback would be possible but I doubt it will go over the 106 level so thank you very much for watching guys and we'll speak again tomorrow